Fox, who's it from? It's from God. From God. Well, who's it to? It looks like it's to the Kingdom Kids at St. Paul Church in Hilton, New York. Whoa! Whoa! Pretty neat, huh? What did you order? I didn't order anything. It just showed up. Well, let's see what's inside. Hi, kids, and welcome all They're you. They're here? They're here. Kids uh, and parents, too. Do you know what's inside? I don't. And I don't either. I'm excited. Let's get it open. Oh, well, there's an instruction sheet. Oh, I'm glad I came with instructions. Hmm. <clears throat> What's it say? Well, there's number one, word of the day. Well, you know, like last week we had trust was our word of the day. Word. Well, there's a, an envelope here that says word of the day. Word of, of, of the day. Well, let's get it out. All right, let's see. Let's find out what the word let's is. Let's see what the word of the day is. Let's see, Don, do you think you can do this? Uh, here. You want me to do that one? All right. I can put that over here. And then we have this one can go here. And that one can go there. And so the word of the day is Yebo. I don't know. What do you think? What's, can you help what's us a, out? What's, what's a Yebo? I think we have to unscramble these and see if we can figure this out. Let's see if we do that. This one. Okay. What do you want? I want that B. Okay. And the O, put the O next. Let's see if that works. And then the Y. E boy. Hmm. I don't know a word like that either. Do you, Don? I know O boy. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, it's e, e boy. E B O Y. That doesn't work either. Wait a minute. Let's try it. Switch, one. switch the E and the B. Switch the E and the B. Let's try it. And I'll switch way. these two. All right. B O. No, that's B -O. not. B I hope you guys are figuring this out because we sure can't. I am totally confused. Look. Well, tell you what. What? Let's look at the instruction sheet. Maybe it'll tell us on the sheet what it's supposed to be. No, it just says word of the day. Oh. And it can't be, can't be B O. Okay, wait a minute, wait a well, minute. Let's go to number two. Do you think we can look at number two and It of... says there's a song by Big Daddy Weave. Well, what's the name of the song? Well, the song is Trust and Obey. Huh, trust, oh, yeah, Trust. That was a... Well, I'll tell you what. Let's see what Whoa, oh, whoa. Oh, I'm it so says, sorry. it says that there are instruments in here and we're supposed to be like part of the accompaniment for the singer, Big Daddy Weave. Let's see what's well, that. that sounds like fun. <gasps> What? Oh, what are these? Oh, I just used the maracas. Oh, Wait, and, uh, oh, then we've got the DVD with it on. So this must be Big Daddy Weave. I think so. I think oh, so. Okay. okay. Is, there, and, is there anything? Oh, is there oh, anything? There's another instrument. Is there anything in for here? me? You got the. I have the maracas. Let's see what's in there for you. Whoa! A conga drum! <laughs> Whoa! Well, this is gonna be fun, Dad. Let's I'll go. tell you. Let's go see if we can find a place where we can do this song. Trust and Obey by Big Daddy Weave. <sighs> well, you know, the, the instructions didn't say where we're supposed to do it. This looks like a pretty good spot. Looks like a good one. Why, why don't All we right. try it? Let's give it a go here. Let's give it a go. Get All set right. up. Yep. Get set. Are you Are, ready? No, I have to tune first. Oh, okay, tune up. Okay. All right. You, you're good to go too? I'm good to go. Okay, let's do this song.
You know where we got our kit for today? And, uh, package from God? The package from God. And let's see if we can find that story and tie it all together. That sounds like a good idea. Let's go. Oh, boy, that was a really great song. That was just a really, really great yeah. song. It was and, fun to play those maracas. And, oh, boom, 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 boom. That was really fun, too. Whoa! Look at the word of the day. Obey. Did you did you do that? No, I didn't. Well, I didn't do it. We got the, we had the song. It was trust and obey. It's a miracle. So did you guys figure it out at home? Did you know what it was even before Don and I knew what it oh. was? Obey. A, a miracle right here. Wow. Oh. And I think you said we have a story about Obey. Well, Obey. I do, I do, I do. Wait a minute, I'm going to sit down. Oh, 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 my papers. I lost all my papers. 
Oh, I love books and papers. Can oh. I hold those for you? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, that's why I love you so much, Miss Uzi. I love you too. Oh, oh dear. Okay. One day, the Lord spoke to Jonah. He said, go to Nineveh, that great city, and speak out against it. I am aware of how wicked its people are. Jonah, however, set out in the opposite direction in order to get away from the Lord. He found a ship about to go to Spain with the crew to sail to Spain where he would be away from the Lord. But the Lord sent a strong wind on the sea, and the storm was so violent that the ship was in danger of breaking up. The sailors were terrified. Then, in order to lessen the danger, they threw the cargo overboard. Meanwhile, Jonah had gone below and was lying in the ship's hold, sound asleep. The captain found him there and said to him, What are you doing asleep? Get up and pray to God for help. Maybe he will feel sorry for us and spare our lives. Oh. Then the sailor said to Jonah, What are you doing here? What is your nationality? Where do you come from? I am a Hebrew, Jonah answered. I worship the Lord, the God of heaven, who made land and sea. Jonah went on to tell them that he was running away from the Lord. The sailors were terrified and said to him, That was an awful thing to do. The storm was getting worse all the time. So the sailors asked him, What should we do to stop the storm? Jonah answered, Throw me into the sea, and it will calm down. I know it is my fault that you are caught in this violent storm. Then they picked up Jonah and threw him into the sea, and it calmed down at once. At the Lord's command, a large fish swallowed Jonah, Whoa. and he was inside the fish for three days and three nights. From deep inside the fish, Jonah prayed to the Lord wow. his God. Then the Lord ordered the fish to spit up Jonah up on the beach, and it did. Once again, the Lord spoke to Jonah. He said, Go to Nineveh, that great city, and proclaim to the people the message I have given you. So Jonah obeyed the Lord and went to Nineveh. The people of Nineveh believed in God's message. The king of Nineveh said, Everyone must pray earnestly to God and must give up his wicked behavior and his evil actions. God saw what they did. He saw that they had given up their wicked behavior, so he did not punish them. The end. Wow, is that a true story, Dad? It is from the Bible. So, of course... It is a true story. Boy, that gets me thinking about all sorts of things. All sorts of things in this reading. Like, you know, like, I'm, I'm looking here. I kind of wrote down some, some notes the last time I, I read this story. And the first verse says, uh, The Lord was speaking to John, and he said, Go to Nineveh, that great city, and speak out against it. I am aware of how wicked the people are. You mean like he could see them from heaven? Well, God sees whatever we're doing.
we're doing. He can see everything. God is watching. Like, all the time. All the time? All the time. I know. He is watching all the time. You know, and then, it said, but instead of going to Nineveh, Jonah took off. He took off. It says here that Jonah, however, set out in the opposite direction from what the Lord said from Nineveh. Oh, my goodness. He tried to hide. Well, why did he do that? Why didn't he want to go to Nineveh? Well, I don't know. I just thought he was afraid that there would be a wicked city. He didn't want to, he didn't want to go to Nineveh. Oh. But then, you know, he got on the ship, and what happened? The ship started rocking, and there was a big storm. <laughs> And they started throwing things overboard. To make the ship lighter and so forth. So because Jonah didn't obey and do what the Lord had asked him or told him to do, he put other people in danger. So do you think that when we do something wrong that we've, we can hurt other people? I know for adults sometimes, you know, the speed limit is 55 in a lot of places. And that's, yeah, I know, just what you say, that's a... <laughs> some guy goes flying by and going like 100 miles an hour. And so that means he's putting everybody else in danger and might cause a big wreck where other people are going to get hurt. So... If we don't obey, sometimes we hurt other people in the meantime. Well... God was going to have none of it. And he said to Joe, you tell the other people that you're the fault. They should just throw you overboard. And you know, they did it. But they were scared. I can understand maybe a little bit why they would do that. But God wasn't just going to do that to punish Jonah. Jonah. He's always got a plan. God's got a plan. We know that. And he brought a big fish that gulped. Gulped? Gulped Jonah right down. And then, you know, I remember like, it says here that from deep inside the fish, Jonah prayed to the Lord, his God. Well, you know, last week, you know, we talked about Jesus and the disciples and walking on water. But before all that happened, do you remember? Jesus went up on the hill and, and he, he prayed. prayed. He first prayed. And so here's Jonah in terrible difficulty. He's been three days and three nights inside the fish praying. So I know that sometimes when we're having a hard time or I'm having a hard time, I pray to I pray to the Lord Jesus, and you can too. If you're, something's not going well for you, you can pray to Jesus. And you know, I even pray to Jesus every day, even when everything's going great, just to thank him. Absolutely. For all the things that he does for us, all the blessings he sends down, and just praise him for being God. So, Jesus prayed to his Father in heaven. Jonah is praying from inside the fish. And, and we can pray too. And what? And, and what? And then what happened? The fish spit him out. The fish indeed spit him out. And so uh, he must have been a really good preacher, because all the people of Nineveh got the message, and they changed from their evil ways, and it all had a happy ending. And God didn't think it was necessary to punish the people of Nineveh. He forgave them, just like he forgives us. And so the people of Nineveh were able to continue on with their lives, and Jonah did too. And you know, sometimes all of us are asked to do things that we don't want to do. And it might be our parents ask us to do something, but you know, you remember the Ten Commandments? We do that Ten Commandments thing. And in, in the fourth what commandment, commandment, yeah, I remember, it says, honor your father and your mother. Well, I guess one way you can really honor your mother and your father is to obey them when they tell you to do something. That's right. So, uh, it makes, you know, it makes, it makes perfect 
it, uh, it makes perfect sense. So obeying uh, our parents and obeying God are so important for us to do. You know, Jonah prayed, and he ended up being freed from the belly of the fish. And so many times I know in our lives we've seen how God answers prayer and, and helps us to go on our way. When he finally did obey, the people of Nineveh were saved, and it all came out very, very well. And so now, I guess uh, we have to ask, do you have a Nineveh? Do you have something you don't want to do? Or have to say something you don't want to say? Well, the first thing you do then is pray. I know once in a while I'll say, I'll say to Susie, uh, well, we're supposed to go do this, and you always answer, But I don't want to go to Nineveh. But, <laughs> but I pray but, about it, and, and, and God you, changes my heart so that when I do go to Nineveh, it's a wonderful time. Every single time, it's worked out well. I know there's another story. I just, I just, it just made me think of it here. Uh, where the, It was after he had risen from the dead. And he's walking on the seashore, and the disciples, you know, they were originally fishermen, and they were out fishing, and they fished all night, and they didn't catch any fish. I mean, it says right here, it says, uh, Simon Peter said to the others, I'm going fishing. We'll come with you, they said. So they went out in a boat, but all that night they didn't catch a thing, not a single fish. As the sun was rising, Jesus stood at the water's edge, but the disciples did not know that it was Jesus. Then he asked them, young men, haven't you caught anything? Not a thing, they answered. I've been fishing lots of times where I didn't catch no, anything. No, almost every time I Okay. Don't he <laughs> said to them, throw out your net on the right side of the boat, mm -hmm. and you will catch them. So they threw out the net. I mean, all night they hadn't caught anything. So they threw out the net and could not pull it back because they had caught so many fish. Simon Peter dragged the net ashore full of big fish, 153 can, in all. Can you imagine 153 fish all at once? So, and they obeyed. When you obey, Jesus said, other side of the boat, guys. They fished off the other side of the boat, and they had great success. So I guess the moral of the story is that we need to obey. And I think there might be some instructions for our box. So we're going to take a look at those in just a minute. Well, you know, you said when we finished our Bible lesson that there was something about, you saw something about crafts. And I'm just looking at the, instruction, the instructions here. And uh, it says there are, there's a whole box of crafts that are something in here, or games, or Something. Oh, let's take a look. Ah, wait, wait, there, wait, 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 wait. something over there. Can you get it? Wow. Wait. Oh. Here, can you push your stool over I'm here? Sure, I can. Let's wait a minute. Too. Let's see what we got here. Wait a minute. It says here that there's a helper for us. A helper. And his name is L. G. Oh. And. And it says, LG can, no, not talk, he can whisper. What's he saying? Well, he's telling me that LG stands for little gulp. Little gulp? <laughs> little gulp, really? It's just short for little gulp. And uh, that, that, that he's really excited to be able to share this craft with us. Ah. Okay, well, here, let's, let's just put him up here. I don't know, will he sit there? There he goes. I hope so. <clears throat> oh, well, you mean that you're going to cover up our word of the day, though. Oh! You want to remember, obey. Well, can't we put him someplace? How about that? All right. Okay. There he is. Well, let's see what let's we've see got here. Box. Let's see what we got. Okay. Oh, yeah, this looks really exciting. What do you think we can make? It's a paper that? plate. Look, I bet we can make. Oh, there's some extra plates here. We can. No, that's not what we're supposed to be doing with a paper plate. Okay. But I have a really good idea. Can you cut? Can you cut? Wait, what does it say? Ha! 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 It says wait. cut a... Yeah, wait a minute. It says cut a something.
something. That is something. Okay. Okay. You're gonna drop that, Don. I am not gonna drop anything. Wait. I'm gonna drop it. Yeah. Here, I'll, I'll hang on. I'm gonna drop. All right. Oh. Okay. Now what are we supposed to do? Wait. Wait. The. 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 the good thing I can read. Yeah. Wait. Okay. I need a piece of tape. Here's the tape. Wait. Did you hold that? Yes, I will. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, let me hold your tape for you. Okay, now wait a minute. Ho, ho, ho. This is looking suspicious. LG, I think I know what's going on here. If I can get unstuck, I'll be just fine. If I get, <laughs> here, let me get this unstuck. Wait, would you hold that for sure, me? I can do that. Like, 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 like right, right, right about there. And I'm going to put this right here, like that, and... Got it? Oh, look at that. What? What? What is it? it what is that? It looks like a big fish. A fish? <laughs> oh. All right, there's wait. something else in here. Oh, look. Wait a minute. He can't see anything. No, he can't. But I bet there's uh. something in here that we can use. Let's make an eye. Here we go. Let's see what we've got. Got it? I'm not much of an artist. I think, oh, it looks good. There we, oh, it's great. <laughs> Oh, boy, oh, boy, well, oh, know, boy. Maybe I can have a career as a painter or something. Little Gulp just said to me that his great, 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 great... Great, great... More greats? Well, great, great, great uncle... Was the big fish that swallowed Jonah. But wait a so minute. this might be a relative, too. What do you think? Right. Well, I don't know. He okay. said we're supposed to look... Wait, it says we're supposed to look for a tongue. A tongue? A tongue. Oh, no, not that tongue. Oh. <clears throat> There's a tongue. Tongues are pink. Wait a minute. Okay. I think you need some more tape. It says to tape, to use your tape. Do you want me to tear a piece of tape for yeah, you? Yeah, about that, 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 like, like that. Whoa, one. that's enough. All right, too much? No, it's just right. If I can get it torn. There you go. <laughs> you crinkled it all up. <laughs> there you go. Oh. We're all set. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's that's right. That's what it says. Is this right? Okay. Got it? But wait a minute. I don't You don't see I don't the tongue? See, I don't even see the tongue. I bet it and and, and I don't see Jonah. Are you sure this is Big Gulp? Your great, 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 great. Well, this is Big the, Gulp. The, the, the big fish that swallowed Jonah was Big Gulp, but this is another relative. Oh, you think it's it, you think it's the one that swallowed Jonah? See if you can it do something. See if you can do something with his tongue. <laughs> Look, there's Jonah. I saw Jonah. There he is again. Is this ever fun? Grow up. Oh, all right, all right. No, 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 no. Oh, I see something else fun in here. Wait a minute. What? I want to do it. You want to try it? Oh, dear. Better wipe off that. I, 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 I want you to grow up, and I'm going to grow down. Like, you're supposed to just like walk with it like that. No, 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 no. I'll show you that. 
and we have a big fish here. And at the end, we have a Jonah. And our game is to try to get Jonah. This is when the big fish swallows Jonah. So let's see if the big fish can swallow Jonah. Like that! I did it! All right, Don, let's okay. see if you can beat that. Oh, come on. Try! You're not trying. <laughs> okay. okay. No, I got one. One more. No, no. You know what? Turn, turn your big fish around this way. Okay. okay. Now try it. All right. Ah! The big fish swallowed. I'm gonna try okay. it once more. Let, 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 let. Whoever can get it in first. Whoever can. We're get gonna, I'm gonna count to ten, All right. and we're gonna see who gets the most in, in, up to the count of ten. Okay. Well, who's gonna say go? I'm gonna say go. Oh, that's. I don't trust him. <laughs> Okay, on your mark, get set. Yo, you start, go, you started ahead of me. <laughs> One, <laughs> two, three, four, One. five, wait a minute, wait a six, minute. Yes. seven, eight, There's two. nine, Three. nine, four, ten. Oh, oh, oh. How many did you get? Two. I got two. two. Oh, oh. That's why we're that's married. That's why we're married. <laughs> <laughs> we each got two. And uh, I will tell you that uh, we're going to send home some companion packets for you, uh, if your parents uh, would like that, and we'll have uh, uh, things to, so that you can make your own big gulp and your own Jonah, and uh, be able to do what we've just done. And I hope your parents are watching this video along with you, because we'd like to say a word to you about that. Uh, when Pastor Mark asked us if we would lead a children's ministry, Kingdom Kids, uh, we were at first thinking it was a little bit like Nineveh. We didn't know that we wanted to take it on. And, uh, but then we prayed. And we said, how can we do anything else but do Kingdom Kids? And so what we're saying to you, our goal then has not been to build this vibrant children's ministry, big kids. Because really, that's the work of the Holy Spirit, to do that kind of building. And what we see is our goal is to share the love of God with your children. To share the love of Jesus with your children. And hopefully, if we're faithful, you and they will get the message just like the people of Nineveh, and will come to love Jesus in response to his love for you. And that is our prayer. That really is our prayer. We pray it, we pray it regularly. So you will be receiving uh, packets if and only if. And the packets will have some word games or a word game, coloring and, sheets. And there are some things for the younger kids and there are some things that are for the older kids. And uh, where's, the, where's some older stuff? And oh my goodness, all sorts of things. And then the instructions for making the game of Big Gulp with Jonah. But if you want to receive the packets, the companion packets that go along with our videos, then we would like you to contact us and let us know so that we're not just sending mailings out to everybody, that we're trying to watch the budget as well. And so we would appreciate hearing from you. And of course the information will be on the screen, our phone number and email, so you can either call, text, or email us. Um, to let us know if you want to get the companion packets that go along uh, with our Bible lessons each week. So we say to you, uh, for this part of our, our little thing, God bless you, but I think we've got like... There's, another instruction there, or something. I think there was another. Wait, let me look. Better read. Let me look. Oh, Little Gulp is uh, eager to know what's next. So what, is, what does it say there in the instructions? It says there's something else in here. In the box? Would you, would you hold that, please? In the package from God. There's one more thing. Oh, it's not there. Oh, wait. Somebody has been snooping. Well, I think we're going to find our way over to <laughs> Wow. And it says that we're supposed to do 
something with the, the song that we did earlier. So let's go over there where we did the song and okay. finish up. We'll see you in a bit. Well, you know, the instructions said that we were to do a reprise, to do the song again. The one that we started with this earlier. Yeah, by Big by Daddy Big... Weave, because we don't know this song either. We're learning this song too. And uh, I do believe that God sends us these things uh, so that if we trust and obey, we get the message too, uh, along, along with all of you. So we're going to sing it through? The best we can. And uh, then we'd like to share a couple of <laughs> ideas about it with you, and then we'll all sing together. Sounds good. When we walk with the Lord in the light of his word, what a glory he sheds on our way. While we do his good will, he abides with us still, and with all who trust and obey. Trust and obey. Then in fellowship sweet, we will sit at his feet, or we'll walk by his side in the way. What he says we will do, where he sends we will go. Never fear, only trust, trust and, and obey. Trust First verse, it says, We will do his good will. That means what he wants us to do. Obey. We will do his good will. We'll do what he asks us to do and obey. And then, you know, there in the little chorus section, trust and obey. There's no, for there's no other way, unless you want to end up in a big fish. Trust and obey, for there's no other way. And then it says, to be happy, to be happy in Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. But to trust and obey. And then over on the second verse, it says, Then in fellowship sweet we will sit at his seat. Someday we're all, if we believe, if we believe that Jesus is God's son, we're going to be at his feet. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever would believe in him would not perish, wouldn't die and have everlasting life with him. So, someday that's going to be it. But for now, we can walk by his side in the way he has set for us to be. And never to fear, only to trust and obey. What he says we will do, where he sends, we will go. So, Even obey. to Nineveh. <laughs> Even to Nineveh, the places we don't want to go. We will obey. So I think the words are going to be right across the screen in front of you there. Let's sing the Let's song sing together. together. When we walk with the Lord in the light of his word, what a glory he sheds on our way. While we do his good will, he abides with us still, and with all who Trust and obey, trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Then in fellowship sweet, we will sit at his feet, or we'll walk by his side in the way. What he says
We have a memory verse about obeying that we can all learn together. And again, you big guys can take your Bible and look it up. And for the rest, we're going to put it on the screen. Mm -hmm. And it'll also be on one of the sheets in our companion packet uh, that we send out for those of you who do respond to us. And what is that memory verse? The memory verse today is from the book of Luke. And it is from the 11th chapter, the 28th Eight. verse. <laughs> and it is, happy are those who hear the word of God and obey it. May I see it? Yes, right here. Hear? Yes, Luke 11, verse 28. And this is Jesus who's talking. This is Jesus who has said this. Happy are those who hear the word of God and obey it. Why don't the, you say it with us? Happy are those, those who, who hear, hear the, the word, word of God, God and, and obey it. it. Okay, so that is the memory verse. And uh, we like to always close with a little prayer. Can we fold our hands, close our eyes, and repeat after Don with me? Dear Heavenly Father, and Son Jesus. Dear Heavenly Father and Son Jesus, we give you thanks for allowing us, we give you thanks for allowing us to be together during this video, to be together during this video, to learn about your word, to learn about your word, and hopefully to obey your word, and hopefully obey your word. Bless all of the kingdom kids. Bless all of the kingdom kids. And help them to be happy. And help them to be happy. In the love of Jesus Christ. In the love of Jesus Christ. And we ask all these things. And we ask all of these things. In his name. In his name. Even as we say. Even as we say. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Kingdom Kids and Kingdom Parents, for being with us. We really enjoy doing these videos for you, but we can't wait until we can be back together in person. But in the meantime, we really thank Shane Dale, who is our cameraman and our post-production engineer, who's putting all these beautiful videos together. We couldn't do it without you, Shane. <laughs> and then I would just say one more thing. Next week, it's pretty simple, gone fishing. See you then.